Okay, we are live streaming in three, two, one. Active. Welcome, everybody. It's Wednesday, July 5th at 7.55 p.m. And I would like to call the meeting to order. Can I get a motion to open the meeting? Motion. All in favor? Aye. Will please stand for the pledge? Can I get a motion to approve the re reorganization agenda as stated? Motion. Second. I would like to administer the over office to the interim superintendent, Dennis Laurel. Mm -hmm. I, Dennis Laura, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of interim superintendent for the Hendrick Hudson School District, according to the best of my ability, effective July 1, 2023 through June 30th, 2024. Oh, no, I have to do it. You have to stand up. You have to stand up. You can. I, Carmen Kosh, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of district clerk for the Hendrick Hudson School District, according to the best of my ability, effective July 1st, 2023 through June 30th, 2024. <laughs> Uh, next, we're going to administer the oath of office to our new trustees. Wait, wait, wait. Are that the same? Great, great. Okay. That's that's that covers an I think that's right. Tamika Dietrich, want to stand up? Sure. All right, Tamika Dietrich, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Board of Education Trustee for the Hendrick Hudson Central School District, accordingly to the best of my ability, effective July 1st, 2023 through June 30th, 2026. Amelia Silverman, stand up and say, say the oath of office, please. I, Amelia Silverman, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of Board of Education trustee for the Hendrick Hudson Central School District according to the best of my ability, effective July 1, 2023 through June 30th, 2026. Hey. Welcome aboard, everybody. Mm -hmm. Our next order of business is to elect a new president for our board. So may I have nomination of president for the Board of Education? I'll nominate a lot. Anybody else? Okay. Is here? She is. I just want to make sure she is here. Okay. Um, well, wait a minute. Wait a second. <laughs> Okay. In case anybody's a change your heart, wants to do it. <laughs> okay. uh, can I make a motion to accept that Alexis Bernard is our new board president for the 23-24 school year? Motion. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Second. Second. Thank you. Thank you. All in favor? Uh, I'd like to open up for nominations for our um, vice president for the Board of Education. I'll nominate Erica Mills. <laughs> Any other nominations? <laughs> Any other nominations? Okay. Can I get a motion to approve? Yeah. Second. Second. Oh, All in favor? Um, oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I know. <laughs> I, Alexis Bernard, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of board president for the Hendrick Hudson Central School District according to the best of my ability, effective July 1st, 2023 through June 30th, 2024. I'd like to, if you please stand there with the medals and I, Erica Mills, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution, Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of Vice President for the Hendrick Hudson Central School District according to the best of my ability, effective July 1st, 2023 through June 30th, 2024. Thank you. Now I bring the meeting over to our, our board president, Alexis Bernard. Thanks, Carmen. Thank you. Which one? Is that the same thing as yes, the old Yes, the old Well, no, I was going to work with Susan. Okay, got it. All right. So we're going to move right along. Um, now we're moving to the approval of appointments. Uh, and we're going to go through each one, right? And just read yeah, that. Okay. So, so District work. Clerk, Records Retention and Disposition Officer, Carmen Koch. Purchasing Agent, Elise Passarelli. District Treasurer, Deborah DeCicio. Personnel uh, Attendance Coordinator, Francis Didaro. Student Registration Position, Deborah Marriott. District Internal Auditor, Naraki Smith. Um, and then District External Auditor changing from TBD to PKF O'Connor Davies. School District Attorney Keenan Bean. Special Counsel Thomas Roan Waxman Pettigrew and Mail. That was a long one. Uh, Bond Counsel Hawkins, Delafield, and Wood. Uh, Title, not, Title IX Officers Margaret Roller and Enrique Catalan. Claims Auditor, Vicki Corey. And that's it. Okay. So we have to vote for those. And then, before, yeah. Right? That, okay. Can I have a motion to approve section four on the agenda? Motion. Second. All in favor? All right. Now, the reorganization consent agenda items. Do I have to go through all those? I would need just the heading. For just read the heading because there's no names, right? Yeah. Okay. Nope. So depositories for all assets, assistant superintendent for business to certify payroll, school board meetings, financial regular school board meetings. We have a schedule. Yeah, yeah. take note. Yeah. Posted. Yeah. It's posted already, or it will be posted. Yeah, it's posted on board down. Actually, yeah. it's on board. Okay. Should we talk about the difference of what we're doing this year versus yeah. last year? If we could do that. Appropriate time? Yeah, you can. Okay. Clarifying it again. Um, like okay. you, I, I feel like you could explain sure. it better than yeah. I could. Yeah. What, what we tried to do, because um, last year every meeting turned into a, a conversation. So the business meetings will be one meeting a month and the uh, work sessions will be another meeting a month. So therefore we can take care of all the normal business items. Um, and that would be the first, do we do the first one of the month? And then the, uh, no, I'm sorry, um, so was it the first one or was it the second one? Uh, regular is the first, first. yeah, and then the second meeting of the month will always be a work session. So regular means what everybody's been used to. The regular business meetings, right? Like the public that. is always invited, but there will be no public comments during a work session. So if you're planning to come to a board meeting and speak to the board and speak publicly, that would happen at a regular meeting. A work session is where we can really buckle down and focus on whatever topics we need to work on. Um, and we're going to try this, and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay, good call then. Um, okay, so financial regulations, assistant superintendent for business and treasurer's bond, approval of contract for Hendrick Hudson's Free Library. Yeah, thank you, Miss. We missed one. Five point six, bottom of the preview. Nope. That's important. No nope. designation of official newspapers. Got yeah, the free library approval of agreement for Mother Connection, adoption of policy statement for free and reduced lunch program. Reestablishment of petty cash funds, activity fund appointments, 
appointment of CSE and CPSC membership for 23-24, approval of board resolution pursuant to New York State Part 200.4, appointment of assistant superintendent for business as administrator of federal title funds for school year 23-24, Appointment of Director of School Facilities Operation and Maintenance as Fire Inspector Coordinator. Mm -hmm. Appointment of Director of School Facilities Operation and Maintenance as LEA Coordinator for Hazard Emergency Response Act. The very bottom, I didn't miss it. Where are you? Reaffirmation of Discipline Policy, Code of Conduct, Recertification of Assurances and Certification for Federal Program Funds. Recertification of district safety plan, establishment of length of student day, general fund transfers, appointment of district physician, appointment of residency officer, district clerk, appointment of records access officer, appointment of records access appeals officer, superintendent of school, appointment of sexual harassment officer, which is Margaret Roller and Enrique Catalan. Appointment of Dignity Act coordinators. Appointment of racial harassment officers, which was also Margaret Roller and Enrique Catalan. Appointment of superintendents hearing designee, executive director of PPS and assistant directors of PPS. Appointment of Title I foster care contact, executive director of PPS. Approval of district clerk, Jane Price and Moore Bistro. Those are our backup department. Approval of board resolution on indemnification. Approval of impartial hearing officers list as maintained by NYSA. Approval of section 3214 hearing officer. And that's all. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> Can I have a motion to approve section five in full? I just should make one. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. I just want to make one clarifying thing. What we tried to do because we realized what had occurred before. If you name a name and not a position, then it, let's say I leave, then mm -hmm. you got to do it again. Yeah. So what we tried to do, we make it more generic by title, like a district clerk, superintendent of schools, assistant superintendent of business. So if there's a change, you don't have to go back to a board resolution. Yeah. It's, it's the person who has the title that you appoint anyway. Five. Makes sense. Okay, so, so a motion. Yep. Yeah. Second. Second. All in favor? Uh -huh. That's the whole Hi. Um, I, I have a quick question. Me. Stephanie had a question about the code of conduct, and I don't remember when we told her she was supposed to bring that up. Is that something she discusses now? Well, she could bring it up. Oh, it doesn't have to be now. I just I know I that she know. had a she had a question about um Steph, the are you there? Can you hear me? I'm well, here. Well. I'm here. I did. I had a question about adding videotaping and photographing to the code of conduct, and I wasn't quite sure since I brought it up in February, and then Corey brought up how he changed his. I wasn't quite sure the process and the procedure going forward. So I think Erica, you said it goes to the policy committee. The code of conduct does not go to the policy committee. That's why I brought it up now because there not. was confusion on when this gets addressed, and I didn't want it to miss a whole other year. Yeah, it does not go to the policy committee. So can I can I intervene? Yes, yes please. She sent me the information. So any additions or changes to the code of conduct come to me through Perfect. to go through to the superintendent to approve, and we'll go through and make you know make the changes. He will make the approvals. Uh, so that doesn't have to be done prior to now. Correct. Okay. No. It's going to be up at the. Um, August 2nd meeting, we're going to put up the, all the changes that come in. Yeah. And then you guys will review them and then we'll at the next meeting approve the code of conduct. Oh, so, thank you. Simon. So, has she that should write? She sent me information. Oh, okay. okay. Then we're good. You yeah. have that okay. then? Perfect. Thank you, Carmen, for clarification. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, and an email has been blasted out to the community too. So, there is an a email address. I think it's is it a superintendent of schools at henceforth.org? Hence I think that's what we With any, um, if they want to write in their comments to, to, to us, what they like changes to. And the last thing I want to bring up, which is not part of that, was about having a public comment section for people who don't want to be videotaped, that just want to come to speak to the board and don't want to be, be part of the taping. Uh, 
I don't know if we, if where we are with that or what's going to happen with that. I, I personally liked your recommendation. And I think what we should do is because it's kind of operational to some extent, we can talk about small changes that we might want to make to our board meetings at our retreat, right? That's what we discussed, yeah. Because I think I did ask Stephanie the question. Okay. If you guys want to talk about it. Yeah, so I think Steph will talk about that when we get together in two weeks. And because maybe there's other changes that people think that we could make. I know each year we've kind of done that, right? Like we're going to shift to this location or we're going to change the way we sit or whatever. So that would be a really good conversation when we talk. Sounds operating. good. Perfect. Um, we have nothing removed from the consent agenda. Um, okay, so I need approval of the regular meeting agenda. Can I have a motion to approve the agenda? Motion. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? And then we have to approve a consent agenda too. Yeah. All right. Uh, does anyone have anything to pull from the consent agenda from our regular portion of the meeting? Okay, can I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Motion. Can I have a second? Second. All in favor? Okay. There isn't along. Okay, we have anyone here from the public? We do not. Nobody? No speakers? All right. Superintendent's report. Do you have a report this evening? Uh, only I think you asked me to, to speak to what we were doing long term. Okay. So I could just I was going to say a few words about it and then go into more detail after the retreat. So what, what we're trying to do is get ourselves organized, get the board organized, get us focused, and, and be able to travel down the pathway to making a decision. And I'd like to reframe everything with the board and the public. And you need to think long term and not singly, you know, elementary versus whatever else. It's a it's a K-12 decision since where there are things on the table like closing a building, which affects every other building in the district. Or if you wanted to do something that moves fifth grade up to the middle school or move the eighth grade up to the high school. So what I want the board to think of is looking at the system as a whole and looking at a framework of K-12 restructuring and looking at it over a period of a five to 10 year plan. So you won't get yourselves in a position that you had the last time, which was one vote and another issue and then it doesn't constantly change because our students are the ones that are affected by those kinds of things. So more will come at the retreat. And then after the retreat, we'll be able to go public with a lot more of that plan. So that was just a general comment. Yeah. Everything else closed out during the year. I'll say that much. Um, I attended all of the ceremonies. The graduations of moving up all went very, very well. Uh, they were very well attended. The weather cooperated with us for the most part, except for the high school. But that tended to work out all right Furnace the Woods other way. That worked. Furnace Woods worked out. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really did. Everything. I think we found that we may have a new uh, venue in, in the dome, and I think it's something that one wants to consider in the future as it looks at a bond. Yeah. May I ask when will, when is the, what's the plan to email the high school parent and to let them know that we hired an interim principal? Oh. You need to get that. You get that out. out. Yes, we can. Now that we officially, yes, we did. Okay. <laughs> Can we do that by the end of the week? No, I'll do it immediately tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Perfect. I think we should just add that the team did a really great job getting that high school graduation yes. put together. The dome looked really hours. good. Spoken. They did a tremendous amount of work in a really short period of time and should be commended for, for that. Yeah, that, right? absolutely. It was, a, it was a really nice experience, I think. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I think our plan on K through 12 and all ideas on restructuring or potentially restructuring or making changes, we're going to work really hard to put out mm -hmm. a schedule of yes. some sort, a timeline that outlines who we're going to meet with, who's going to present, what are we looking into, what are the outcomes that we're trying to achieve, all of that. Um, so really getting organized and hopefully later this month we'll be able to. Yeah, I think we'll meeting. do that at the retreat and then we have our next meeting on August the 2nd. Oh, wow. Do, do, wow. Okay. There's a head on the horse for that, sort of, right? Someone who's leading that in the district, and we formalize that. Mm, I've sent a letter, yes. Okay. Do you want me to make a statement? Mm. Oh. I don't know. Okay. We will. We'll put it all I think together. We once we get through the retreat, I think we'll okay. announce all of this. 
some of it's like still a little open-ended. So what we'll do is hammer it out over the next couple of weeks and we'll have it for sure concrete, ready to go and okay. share it August 2nd with the community. Cool. Yeah. Um, committee reports. I know we have not really had much because school was winding down and we were focused on people graduating and taking exams and all of that. No, no updates, right? Any new business? What it meant, right? Business? No. No. Uh -huh. oh, no. No. Not so. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. Can I ask one question about yeah. the committee? Are you still going to do the NISPA? Jen, you and Erica maybe work together or be that liaison with them again this year? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It probably won't be me because the PTA meetings are on Mondays. All right. So we'll just name Jen for right now. And... Okay. Thank you. Jen, I would like to do NISBA too. Oh, there's okay. some things that there are advocates for. I'm going to go to the conference that they're giving, but if no one else wants to, or if someone else wants to do it, they could do it. But yeah. I'm just saying I would like to do it too. That's great. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, thank you. Most <laughs> <What's> of them are virtual. <laughs> awesome. All right. Anything else before we close? <laughs> Stephanie, thanks for joining us. Enjoy yourself. All right. Can I have a motion to close the meeting? Motion to close. Mm -hmm. Can I have a second? Second. Mm -hmm.